It started on a calm, sunny day in the Caribbean on a scientific search for some ancient Mayan Indian relics. Two young scientists, Peter and Nancy Ordway, handled the archaeological end of the expedition. I was in charge of the underseas work. We were trying to find a cave down here just offshore where the Indians supposedly had hidden some religious treasures centuries ago. I was just about to call it a day when a shark gave me a brand new lead. Out of nowhere, an arrow slammed into him. Sharks are tough. They can be killed, of course, but it isn't easy. This one was dead in a matter of seconds. The arrow that killed him must have been fired with tremendous force. And it must have been tipped with a very deadly poison. I drew a mental line from where I'd seen the shark hit by the arrow to where it had probably come from. I spotted it. A trigger line that led to an ancient crossbow, a booby trap, clever and elaborate. Too elaborate to have been set up just to kill sharks. No argument about it. This device had been prepared to deal out death to human intruders like me. When I surfaced, I brought along the weapon that had nearly finished me off down below. This crossbow is really old. How old would you say it is? Well, four centuries at least. 400 years? Yeah. You know what that is? That's an authentic weapon of the Conquistadores. Hey, what about this arrow? Well, the same story, Nan. But the arrowhead. The arrowhead is definitely Mayan Indian. Well, what do you say it did to that shark? It must have really been loaded with poison. It was. See how deep that poison pocket is? Yeah, how do you suppose they sealed it to make it last that long? What makes you think it had to last that long? Mike, are, are you trying to suggest that that was a, a, a booby trap? And that it was meant for us? Well, if somebody wanted to scare us away from that cave, can you think of a better way to do it? Who would want to do a thing like that? The pearl divers, Mike? I don't know. They're the only people we've seen around here. They've been working out beyond that reef the last couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, they're out there now. Let's go out and ask them what they know about it. Well, it's not going to do any good. They're not going to tell us anything. <laughs> Buenas tardes, señor. Como le va? Por favor, puedo hacerle algunas preguntas? Maybe he speaks English. Uh, we found this in the waters off the western island. Is it yours? You know anything about it? Now listen. 
We're not going to cause you any harm. We're scientists. We've got permission from your government to explore these islands. When we left the Pearl Divers, I was sure that we'd accomplish nothing. Actually, we'd picked up our most promising clue so far to those long lost Mayan relics. Mike, we've hit pay dirt. I'm sure of it now. You know that amulet the head man was wearing? Yeah, what about it? Well, I made a sketch of it. Look. Why'd you make two sketches of it? Just one of the amulets. This is a sketch of the arrowhead. They look identical to you? Look, the same design, the same workmanship. These people have got to be descended from the group who escaped from the Conquistadores. I know it. Mike, you marked the spot where you found the crossbow, didn't you? Yeah. Good. I bet you we find the cave within 10 yards of it. I'll soon find out. Hey, I'm going down with you. Oh, you better stay here. We might run into a series of booby traps down there. I've had a lot of experience in underwater demolition work you have. Well, I could still be of some help to you. No, you better stay here. Now, wait a minute, Mike. You, you can't go down there by yourself, not when you know it's dangerous. Remember what you taught us at Silver Springs? You said that underwater safety was built on the buddy system, remember? Okay, you win. got down without incident or accident and found the rocks that I'd used to mark the booby trap. I ordered Peter to stay put while I scouted around for additional traps. Wartime experience led me to expect that the crossbow would have a mate placed not too far away. That's what the boat hook was for, to probe the vegetation yard by yard. another trigger rope and launched a second poison arrow. I went after the arrow while Pete Ordway searched for the bow that had fired it. It turned out to be the exact mate of booby trap number one. I knew we were on the right track now. The entrance to the cave had to lie somewhere between the traps and probably guarded by a third trap. I was right about the cave entrance, wrong about further obstacles, as far as I could see, that is. We found ourselves inside a kind of natural tunnel. We followed it and ran into currents that kicked up an almost blinding cloud of mud and gravel. The 
The current was flowing through a narrow opening up ahead. Pete Ordway thought that he had a better chance than I to get through, but I pulled rank on him to lead the way. It was a tight squeeze, but I made it into a passageway so narrow that I had to slither through it like a serpent. I had told Pete to wait for me, but curiosity got the better of it. From behind me, I heard the roar of falling rocks and thought that I'd been trapped. But it was Pete who'd been caught. I cursed myself for having overlooked this third booby trap, this simple rock slide that had worked where the complex ones had failed. It had worked all right. Though Pete Ordway was still conscious, he'd been badly hurt. I knew now that if we kept on searching, we might find death before we found the shrine. We made it upstairs somehow and managed to get Pete's broken ribs taped up. What happened? I think maybe you cracked a couple of your ribs, boy. You're gonna have to take it easy. How, Mike? What hit me? You set off a booby trap. That, that rock slide, it wasn't an accident? No. Oh, you tripped a wire. It was just lucky that I didn't. You think those pearl divers did it, Mike? Yeah, but I don't see how, man. Without an air tank, they'd drown before they got halfway through that tunnel. It's so long. Well, how was it done, then? Oh, that's not the important question. Not now. I gotta get you to the hospital. We can talk about the other later, huh? No, no. That can wait. But listen, you took quite a bang. Look, that. Mike, we're on the verge of a tremendous discovery. We must be, or that booby trap wouldn't have been where it was. I think you're right. How, how soon can you go back down? First, I gotta get you to a doctor. Look, I tell you, I'll be all right. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right. I'm on my way. Mike, I'm going with you. Hey, one hero in the family is enough. Look, at Silver Springs, you said I was one of your best pupils. Well, not there now. Oh, please, Mike. You might come across a clue to what we're looking for and pass it right by. You're not a trained observer, you know. In archaeology, I mean. What do you say, Pete? Sorry, Mike, she's right. You better take her with you. OK, get into your gear. Inside the cave, we worked our way down the tunnel very carefully, on the lookout not only for traps, but for possible clues to the relics.
We found neither clues nor relics. Perhaps that made Nancy impatient, I don't know. But when we reached the rock slide that had nearly killed her husband, she decided to take it from there on her own. I caught up with her, though, and I thought that I'd managed to shake a little sense into her. We continued on together, but not very far. This looked like the end of the road, at least for someone my size. I tried to get through the narrow opening without my tanks, but that didn't work. The lecture that I'd given Nancy didn't work either. The minute my back was turned, off she went again. She wanted five minutes to explore what she was sure now was the long sought undersea shrine. There was nothing that I could do but let her. The shrine was there, as we'd suspected, a strange collection of tiny pre-Columbian idols of incalculable historic significance. Nancy inspected them with beating heart. I knew that she was acting out of scientific zeal or whatever you want to call it, but that didn't make me any the less angry with her or any the less worried about her safety. The chief object in the shrine, the figure of the Mayan god of war, overwhelmed Nancy. couldn't know that it was guarded by an unseen booby trap. The sword hilt was a trigger. The closely woven netting weighted along the bottom was too heavy for a woman to lift alone. When Nancy hadn't come out after eight minutes, I was certain that something was wrong. I couldn't waste any more time, but I couldn't reach her from where I was. I had another plan.
Mike, where's Nancy? What happened to her? She's trapped in a cave. It's probably the one we're looking for. You mean you left her there? I had to. The entrance was too small. I couldn't get to her. There's got to be another way. What do you mean? From the other side. An entrance into the tunnel from above water. Close enough for those pearl divers to set off that booby trap that you knocked over. Well, how are you going to find it, this entrance? One of those pearl divers is going to find it for me. No, don't. So you speak English, huh? The cave where you set up the booby trap. There's another entrance from offshore, isn't there? Isn't there? You know, don't you? Don't you? Yes. All right. You're going to take me there. You go first. Any traps, you spring them. My guy took me at my word. He did spring another arrow trap. It missed, but he wasn't through trying. When we got to Nancy, he took the lead in helping to free her, but only because he wanted to trap us both. That didn't work either. My first job was to get Nancy to the surface. I headed her in the right direction. Then I turned back for the Indian. Maybe he didn't deserve a break, but uh, by the time I got to him, he sure needed one. You should have let me die. Yeah, why? I failed my people. The strangers will come now, steal our treasures. The only thing we're gonna take are photographs. Pictures? Why? To show the world what a mighty race you came from. Hi there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is certainly a lot of fun, and it's full of adventure. See some more of it again next week, huh? When there'll be another excursion into that fabulous underwater world of Sea Hunt. <laughs> <laughs>